Now the last day of the event. It's time to check the stats. And again I say this without spending any money. You can see here this account does not buy any gold. And this event I managed to get a new gemstone. I activated for defense and it's all embedded now. But I can't get a new airship part. Because not enough points. There's only one R9 I got from last month's event. Short of 90 more handbooks. I could have equipped it but if I did then I wouldn't get any new gemstones, it was quite a tough choice. Let's first check what I bought using reward points. can only buy 70 airship parts handbook then 50 guard weapon scrolls for the coat of arms handbook I didn't buy it because it was already complete and for curiosity only a few handbooks are lacking so no need to buy because they can be collected from the expedition shop or from new world rewards if need more so useless to buy it now I didn't buy any elixir or equipment scroll either. Next I bought all the gemstone scrolls. That's how I can make a new gemstone. And this frame. That's all I can get this event without spending money. Before checking the stats maybe we should see what I have and the improvements. For coat of arms generally basic level. Only a few could be improved. And the highest is rare and only one. Then one level flawless. And the rest at the level of precious. If you pay attention, the number of statistics for this increase is not much. Only a few tens of percent. And all in all maybe 100 or 200 percent max. I won't count it because it doesn't really matter. Generally not much different from the basic level. So for non-spenders, the most important thing is to have it even if only at a basic level. Then curiosity. We can see the statistics directly here. Infantry stats are only 1600%. Distance statistic is almost 2600%. The difference with the infantry stats was nearly 1000%. That's because the infantry are still R7 while the others are already R8 and a slight upgrade. So that's why it's important to always get the latest as it will increase the stats quite a lot from the old one. If you guys just watched my video I need to explain again this castle has almost no infantry so it's safe to say that it doesn't need stats for infantry. I've sacrificed infantry and cavalry as well during KVK, so I can replace it with distance using the training buff. For guard weapons. I only have three of the newest ones. And all three are basic level. Nothing has been upgraded yet. For honing benefits, I haven't gotten all purple yet, there are still green ones too. And there is also a blue one. For equipment as you can see I still don't have a sword. I can still increase the distance stats with the guard talent, but it won't affect the musketeer's fort. Because all buffs don't work on musketeer's fort. And these are the stats I can get without spending and without buffs. 7k troop stats, and 16k distance stats. 
one for distance defense reaching 17k due to new gems. I've said before that this account stats will only be slightly below my main account stats. Now I will explain it. And at the same time it will explain the difference in statistics for the new account and the old account. This is the main account I play. Before that I need to tell you, even though this account spends, but the amount spent is very small. Even too small for some people. I didn't calculate the exact budget. Which is definitely less than $50 every month and sometimes less than $20 like this month. And this is what I spent during this month's event. 800 gold. I bought one key in a few days for the challenge chest. For honor challenges I usually upgrade to level 2 and sometimes to level 3 or maximum when there is more budget. Because I am not a rich person who has a lot of money. So I spend what I can and don't push myself. Then buy some keys to open 10 chests. That's all I do routinely almost every month. Why 10? Because the 10th chest is a super chest that gives better rewards than the usual chest. It also applies to multiples of 20, 30, and so on. So that's why my main account is not much different from a farm account that doesn't spend at all, because the money I spend in the main account is very small and can only get a little material from the money that has been spent. While we know to raise the stats higher we need a lot of materials to upgrade, and it needs to cost a lot of money, not tens, or hundreds of dollars. But tens of thousands of dollars. And only the rich can spend tens of thousands of dollars every month. And some people may spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in one month. More discussion on this preferably later. Now let's go back to the original discussion. I'll show you the statistics of this account first. Wait maybe I should give a little explanation what this account has. For equipment this account is the same as the farm account does not have a sword and failed to get a new gemstone this month due to a slight miscalculation. I'm short of points to buy new gem scrolls. It's because I used points to buy airship parts. But not a big deal because maybe next month I can get two types of gems at once if I still play this account by spending a few bucks. Let's check what I bought using reward points. One hundred and forty airship parts manuscript R9. Seventy new guard weapon scrolls. And the rest, one hundred and forty new gemstone scrolls. So despite failing to get new gemstones, I got a new R9 airship part. The improved stats are almost the same. And I activate for troops and attacks first. And here are my main account stats. Almost the same as my farm account only the stats of troops differ by about 1k. Even though I've been playing this account for more than 2 years. And can easily be chased by an account that I've only been playing for a few months and without spending money. This is what I tried to explain earlier a few months ago. Namely fellow non-spenders, the stats won't be much different and will be almost the same if you know how to maximize the 50% event and the difference is likely from how to set stats. What to improve and what to ignore. Everyone has their own priorities. If you think the 1k troop stats difference is because of the honor challenge that I increased. Then your thinking is wrong. Although it provides material rewards but the amount is too little. Can't even make one upgrade. Because as you can see the newer an item the more material is needed to upgrade it. So do you have any questions, what are the important advantages of this honor challenge? Because for the amount of material it is almost useless. Because it's not enough for one upgrade. So the most important thing is this scroll. 
which is very helpful for small spenders so that every 50% event is not too difficult to get the latest items. Now I will explain what causes a slight statistical difference between non-spending in the new kingdom and the old kingdom. For material rewards like this, it will always increase much more after the update, so after one year new players will be able to match the old players. So it's fine and won't make a difference after a year of playing. The first difference is the guards. As we know the guard also provides statistics and march capacity. And old players who are active and have been playing for more than two years usually have almost full star guards except for the emerging guards. It's natural because they have collected and used many recruit banners before. In these guards there will be a slight difference and it takes quite a long time to catch up with old players. May need two years or more in order to equally have the full star guards. Then on research. It also takes a lot of time and resources to keep up with the old players. For combat 2 provides quite a lot of statistics. So my advice if you can prioritize researching this part first after the road is open. See which one gives more stats and march capacity. Next difference on airship. Namely in the elements. Which took a very long time to collect all these scrolls. By doing a red guard rally, and collecting from several events. It took more than 2 years of playing for my main account to be able to upgrade to level 119. Do you still think like this? Or like this? I've made an explanation video. But they are just people who like to seek attention and find fault with others. So difficult to receive an information. And always wanting to argue without wanting to understand, they have weaker stats than they should. But because they feel smarter and afraid to look stupid they try to find various reasons. Some even accuse me of lying like this. So does anyone remember I said in a video a few months ago that a lot of old players don't understand the game. That's an example. It's been a long time playing but still don't understand, so in order not to be caught stupid they find various excuses to cover their ignorance with various arguments, and even accuse me of lying when in fact their understanding is weak and difficult to receive information because of their selfishness. Not because stupid but the word stupid can be used to people who do not know something, but after knowing they will be called smart. Because actually no one is stupid if you want to learn. But most people don't want to learn. And talk a lot of bullshit if they've got a little knowledge then stop learning, even though their knowledge is still small. Next to see the benefits of the glory banner we can do this. First take off all coats of arms. After that enter the royal expedition. Then on the building expedition we can see all the remaining numbers, those are from the glory banner. This number is too small now. Except for players 2 years ago where the stats were much different from now. Now we put back the coat of arms. This is the total. Glory banner and coat of arms. So we can see clearly the coat of arms gives much bigger stats, when compared to the glory banner. 
even the banner of glory seems meaningless if we compare it to the coat of arms. Now we compare with the main account that I played two years. Here's the stats by the glory banner, none of the numbers even touch 200%. Maybe someone thinks why I've been giving examples of doing events with a farm account that costs $1 if the actual results are no different and almost the same as the main account. It was because I had expected, that there would be people who doubted what I had said. And looking for other excuses to prove I was misinformed and calculated or accuse me of lying doing bullshit and so on. Like this lady who even thinks this information is wrong because of one dollar. And you need to know I'm also not the only person who has a lot of knowledge about this game, because there are also a small number of people who have the same knowledge as me because they always study every detail of the game. And enjoy the game without much to complain. For knowledge of how to build stats without spending, here are a few more people who have done the same thing I did. Almost the same stats only difference he spent $8. But that amount of money had no effect on stats at all, because it couldn't buy materials for upgrades. You can see various comments on this person's post, some believe it but some think it's a lie, some have done the same thing, and various other comments, and for those who do the same the statistics are also almost the same because that's all non-spending can do for this month, and the maximum for old players who are almost 3 years old may be the same as my main castle, only differs in troop stats which is around 8k. As for how, I've shared almost all of the knowledge, I've even made several videos when I do events 50% per day for more details. But it seems not many are interested in seeing the video. Most people would rather see a big spender increase. It looks awesome even though there's no benefit for non-spenders to take. Because you can't do the same. But at least I've finished my data. Only a few small things left on how to collect more material. Which of course is done differently by each player. If it is needed I will make it next month and start collecting data, please write in the comments column if you really need it. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you.